Thanks for tuning in, guys. Nora here from AP Shield. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video below. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to wrap an oversized hood. So this hood is about 62 to 63 inches in length by about 64 inches, or sorry, 74 inches in width. Again, standard rule of paint protection film is 60 inches, which this is what we used. I'm going to show you how to put it on. This is a black colored BMW 750Li. And I'm going to show you how to do it with having no tension anywhere across the sides or the back of the hood. At the same time, we're going to leave the badge on. Owner of the car did not want to have the badge removed, so I'll show you how to trim around the badge perfectly so you have no idea any films on the car. So after we washed the vehicle down using our 10-step process, this vehicle was in actually pretty good condition. It got delivered to us straight from the dealership. Uh, I'm going to put a little link in the video above so you can see the proper steps of washing the car. Just to add a little bit more peace of mind to make sure we got all the dirt out, I'm going to wash around the emblem with the brush. Um, as I said before, the owner doesn't want us to remove any emblems, so I'm just going to leave this in. We're just going to wash it over very well to make sure there's no dirt or dust or any debris that's going to fall out of it while we're installing. After we washed the surrounding of the BMW badge, the next step is going to be to rinse the whole hood down with water. At least the water, what I like using the water for is that any dirt or dust that might have settled on the hood. In the meantime, it's going to be washed down. The gravity forces it off the car. And then we can be, uh, start installing the, applying the paint protection film. So just to let you know, the process, the way that I do it is quite simple. I tack down the back corners first. So let's see, it doesn't matter which one you start from, driver's side or passenger side. Start from one of the corners. Go to the other side and make sure there's no tension or any fingers across the back end of the hood where the windshield wipers are over here. Then tack down the other corner. Now we work towards the front. So again, doesn't matter which side we go to. Lift up the film. You want to make sure that you have plenty of slip solution, especially all across the center of the hood because we're going to be attacking that last. Uh, what I do after that is from one corner, pull the film. Make sure that you're going to be pulling a little bit along the body line and outwards. Lock it in along the corner. The next side, we're going to do the same thing. Pull the film down. Now is an important uh, time to make sure you don't have any fingers across anywhere. So this technique uh, of installing the hood, let's say, it's going to not give us any tension around the edges. And because we used a lot of slip solution in the center of the hood, that'll give us a little bit of time to work our way around. Again, this is good if you have a controlled environment, if you're working in a really hot condition. Uh, it might be tacking down too quickly in the center. You're going to have like distortion glue marks, so you might want to increase the slip solution, maybe a little bit more soap. Again, too much soap, it's not going to bite down. Too little soap, it's going to be gripping right away. Uh, if it's too much soap, again, just adjust it according to conditions. In this shop, it's air conditioned, it's heated, so I know that the temperature control is going to be pretty accurate at all times. As I said, we're going to spray the whole hood down with water just to rinse off any soap or any dust off the surface. The gravity is going to pull any of the dust down. So now that it's rinsed down, we're going to spray the hood down with slip solution. So this 7 Series BMW, the hood is a little bit larger than 60 inches. It's maybe about 63 to 64 inches in length. So we will have to stretch the film front to back. Uh, do this by a kit cut. It will ask for you to apply little triangle pieces near the back end. So let me see if I can show you this. This right now is lining up in the front. However, in the back, let me get the camera. As you can see, the film is a little bit short. But that's no problem. That little bit of a stretch is not going to be that much of an issue. And again, just so you can tell, the film is barely even wrapping across here. So what we're going to do now is like I said, we want to apply the back corners first, work our way forward, but there is going to be a little bit of a trick just because we do have to stretch to the back a little bit just to cover these areas. So what we're going to do is I'm going to apply a little bit of tack in this area, a little bit of tack in the front corners, 
just so we can pull the film back a little bit. Stretch in the back, and then I'm gonna lift up the front and stretch everything forward so it's gonna be a nice and clean and wrapped install all across. And now it gives me opportunity to pull and stretch the film towards the back end. So again, I'm locked in in the front. In the back, what I'm gonna do, I'll make sure I spray a lot of slip solution. Make sure that the film has slip solution on it. And now we'll be able to stretch towards the back. So as you can see, the film is ending right here. I'm about two inches, two and a half inches short from the back. So what I'm gonna do is grab a little bit of the slip. I mean, sorry, my apologies, the tack. Take the film and stretch it towards the back. Now that I've got the two back corners locked in, I'm gonna lift up the front and spray a little bit of slip all across the front areas where I originally locked it in. Again, this is why we want her to work a little bit quicker, just to make sure that none of the film is gonna be staying down or stacking down too early when we don't want it to. I'm gonna spray quite a bit of slip solution across the center. Now we're gonna check how the film fits. Again, it is pulling back a little bit, so I'm gonna make sure that we stretch it and it covers here. Now again, you might be wondering why I did that. It's just because now the film, when I pull from here, all the fingers across the back are gonna work themselves out and it's gonna be, it's not gonna have any awkward stretch going on in the back and we're not gonna have any weird lift lines or pull marks. These big bubbles or stretch marks just slightly pull the film. They'll all go away by themselves. I'm gonna go across the body line, make my way down, and then from this body line. Again, now on this side, we're gonna work out along this body line. Let me move the camera so you guys can see a little bit better. Again, we're gonna spray a little bit of slip here. I'm gonna grab my tack, spray under here, and then work out all these little tension marks. Again, notice how there's barely any tension along the back end of the uh, hood or anywhere along the sides. That's what I was aiming for. Even though it's a little bit more tricky to install, we're not gonna have any ghosting, we're not gonna have any lift lines or any weird fingers across the edges, especially that it is a black car. On black, you will see any of those imperfections a lot more. So now we've got both the sides locked down and between uh, the body lines over here, the hood, all of this is still not squeegeed out. So again, I just wanna make sure all the film is floating around, that it's not sticking down. Give it a very light shake around. I can tell that the film's moving everywhere. So now we can start squeegeeing all the film out. So what I'll do is I'll split it into two halves. I'll work out the back half and then the front half I'll do once I complete the driver's side of the car. Try not to squeegee all the way down. You always wanna have uh, and give the water a way to escape. So if I were to squeegee all the way down and notice that there's something going on here, guess what, I'm kind of out of luck. 
This way, if anything happens, I can still kind of get like a long tool, squeegee in if I see like a little speck of dirt or dust, fish it out that way, and then we have a nice clean install. Once I get to the front badge area, what I want to do is get a lot of the slip solution, rinse out the soap. That's why it was so crucial to make sure that around the badge is washed and cleaned a lot of times to make sure that no dirt or dust or any debris is gonna be making its way out. Again, remember how short we were here? That's enough for us to wrap around the corner, or sorry, the front leading edge of the hood. I was saying, with the badge, we're just gonna slowly work all of the tack solution out. And again, I'm leaving the bottom area open so any extra solution can work its way out. I just kind of escape downwards. Once I have the badge more or less locked down around the flat areas, I'm gonna make sure I have a sharp knife. Give me one second, let me just snap off a little blade. And the edge of the badge gives me a nice guide to have a nice perfect circle cut around it without even taking the badge off or touching the paint. This will tuck right up against the badge nicely. You won't even be able to tell that there's any film on it. And we didn't have to remove the badge on this install. So as you guys can see, the full hood's been wrapped in one piece. This is an oversized hood. So it's about maybe 63, 64 inches in length. I'd probably say about 63. Again, pay attention as there's no tension anywhere across the edges or the corners, front, back, or side of the hood. As you can tell, there's no pull marks, no stretch lines. It's a black color car. Again, the badge was not removed as the owner didn't want to have the badge removed. Let me see if I can get in a little close up here. As you can tell, you, can, you can't even tell if there's any film on it. And again, as I'm saying, there is no any awkward stretching or pulling across the film. Guys, thank you for watching. Hope you learned something today. Again, if there's any comments or anything that you want to know, let me know in the comments below. I'll get back to you. Again, I'm very happy how this turned out. No stretching, no pull marks, no tension anywhere across the fronts or back or side of the hood. I'm going to now trim everything off, make sure it's all buttoned up. So again, thank you for watching and subscribe to the channel.